Hi, I'm Rakesh Rootsman Rack, and in this short video I'd like to show you how to determine what email address you are using when accessing YouTube. The primary reason for this is when someone wants to share a YouTube video with you that is private, that is shareable and visible to you and your email address only, they need the very specific email address that you are using when you log in to YouTube. And as you can see here, the there are five videos that are visible in this particular playlist. The first four are public, meaning anybody can access them. This fifth one, however, is shared with my private email address only. And that's why I can currently see it. However, in this playlist is an email, or rather a video, that is not shared with my private email address. It's actually been created by my business account and is not shared to my private email address. So that's why it's hidden. Now, if in order to determine, as I say, this particular one is shared to my private email address. So to find out what account I have logged in as, all I need to do is go to the top right hand corner. If you have a profile picture set up, you'll see your profile picture. If you don't, then it will just come up as your initials. So if you click on there, bingo, there's your email address. It's really as simple as that. Just to show you, if I was to sign out and then go to, if I refresh this page, so to go back to that playlist, so I've signed out completely, so I'm not logged in as anybody. You can see now there's two videos that are hidden because, as I say, these are all public and therefore anyone can access it, whereas the one video that was shared with my email address is no longer visible. So when someone shares a private video with you or a playlist, if you, in that playlist, if it says it's unavailable, it's because they've shared it with the wrong email address. So you need to check, you need to check what email address you're actually logged in as, share that email address with them and get whoever's sharing it with you to double check that they've used the correct email address. It's as simple as that. Thank you very much.